everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a rather warm day, but it wasn't too bad. I didn't, I wore, my husband says it was hot. It wasn't hot, it was just warm. But anyways, I did some cleaning. My daughter called me yesterday, the one that has the two jobs, Emily. Well, she called me yesterday and wanted to know if she could use my big room for a bridal shower that she's supposed to be putting on for a girl. And I said, when did you need it? And she says, Saturday. And I'm thinking, this is really late planning. So today, I was going to put in this video where you'd see me clean a little bit, because I did have to set, I had to set up. There's not a lot to do in there. There's, it's, a, it's a big empty room, pretty much. But I, do had, I did have to put up a few tables and chairs and, and move a few things. But because I am here now at a late hour, it's, it's rather late, you're probably wondering, where is that video? It usually is out by now. Well, it's going to be a little bit later because I was at the library. The library has um, a fabric or that's a craft. craft program. It's called Craft Crafty Diem is what it's called. And um, today we made pillowcases. I made a pillowcase. I'll have to show you the pillowcase I made. She had a whole, it's a really, it's it's actually very nice for this type of pillowcase. If you, if you look, there's no, there's, the seam here is so nice, but on the inside, it's the same seam, same look. It's a, it's a magic pillow. It's one where you have to roll it and, um, it's really done really neat. It's, it's something different. And then the sides are double rolled. Well, I used white thread because that's what they happen to have. So on the blue, you'll see the right white thread. But in the other part, you don't see the thread as much. Oh, I can't even get it. It's, it's like stuck there. The seam, it's, it's folded over so that you don't have any ra raveling. So there's no raveling on this pillow. So it's a real pretty pillow. I feel like I did a great job, which I did. Mm -hmm. Some of the I had to use I had to use real modern machines. Oh my goodness! I said, "How do you backstitch on these?" Nobody knew how to. The one lady, her machine, she had never really used it. She had just taken it out of the box and brought it in because her husband had bought her this real fancy machine and she hadn't used it. Sort of like my embroidery machine. <laughs> I haven't really used it either. It's it's confusing, but anyways, that was what we were to do. And this is this is the they gave us a pattern, the paper with the pattern, so I can make I can do this again myself now that I've done it. So that's what I did. So it was kind of fun, but I had to clean. Oh, I was I had did I finish the story about Emily? Yeah. No. No. Not what? really. Not really. Oh, I don't know. Well, anyways, she wants to use my big room. So I set up the tables, I set up the chairs, and I um, have it all ready. So I don't know what she'll need as far as, hopefully she brings everything she's supposed to bring. She wanted to know if she could have a dozen eggs because she wants to make some, some party sandwiches out of egg salad. And of course I have eggs, So and she's going to make them here. She's not going to take them and then do them at home and then bring them. She's going to do everything here. So the mess will be in my house and not her house. But that's, I guess, the way it always is. They bring their stuff here and they do it here. They say I've got more counter space, which I do have more counter space than what they have. So that's yeah, what I did. have a much nicer kitchen than any I have a kids. better kitchen than any of them. I do. Yeah. And mine is not a fancy kitchen. My son-in-law, he said that, because my daughter was saying that she would like my house someday rather than her house. And he goes, why? She's got an old-fashioned kitchen. And I go, well, I thought it was pretty modern, but maybe when we put it in, how long ago did we put it in? Probably 26 or 27 seven, years. eight years ago. Yeah, it's pretty old now, so it's not modern anymore. I guess the modern kitchens look different than what mine does. Mine is kind of an old-fashioned kitchen, too. But it's a, it's a usable kitchen. It's done with the triangle. I don't know if you plan a kitchen. If you've ever planned a kitchen, but you're supposed to make it like a triangle so that when you go from the sink to the stove to the cupboard to your workspace and the refrigerator, it's all supposed to be within this so many steps. And that's what we did when we did it. So that's what my kitchen is like. 
and I would show you, but it's a pretty mess right now. <laughs> I can't show you. Mm -hmm. So um, someday I'll show it when I clean it up a little bit. My counter has always got a lot of stuff. Right now it's got a ukulele on it, hot peppers, and some wine glasses that I brought from the other room. And a paper, some paper, and Jim's sitting on it. <laughs> He's, yeah. So... And my coffee cup and this, my, my iPads and whatever. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. So I guess that's it for tonight. I better get this loaded so that you can have some entertainment in the morning. If you, you watch me in the morning and if you're going to watch me tonight, I'll get it out so you can get there before you have to go to bed. So you have a great night and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> I, was, I forgot I was going to say goodbye. <laughs>